in this episode, we're going to paint the rear mud guard. You're watching the Kodak YouTube channel. Okay, so we're going to start painting. Uh, this is our rear mud guard. It's got some damage here on the corner. We need to put a bit of filler in here. But before we do anything, we need to clean it all up. Make sure that our filler sticks properly. So this little tin of fine filler I'm using can be used on plastic or on metal. So if you're going to buy a little bit of filler, just make sure you buy it for the right application that you're doing. And I'm mixing this 20 parts of filler to one part of hardener. So we'll mix it all up and put it on the rear mud guard. <laughs> So that filler rubbed out okay, but I just need a little bit more. But what I found is this mud guard is not in really good condition, and I don't know if it's weather or from other materials they've used on the bike, but it's got a couple of pinholes, so we need to mix up a little bit more and fill up those marks as well. Okay, we're back to rubbing again, it's been overnight, so we want to try and get this all smooth and hopefully we won't need any more filler in there. Okay, you can see now why I put a bit of filler how badly pitted the plastic is. That's not through the paint. It's just around here. Really, really badly pitted that plastic. Up here it's not, just here. So we've put that little white of filler in there and it's filled all those up. So that's now ready to get primed up. been a few days so it's time to rub it down with some nice clean water so we'll see quickly where we did that repair we should see some marks come through Let me give this a quick Okay, here we go. So you can see there's some scratches in the primer here. There's some marks over here, some scratches here. And that's what we've got to keep rubbing until we get them. Oh, look, 
is a little bit there. We'll see how that goes. But we've got to keep rubbing till we get rid of all that black. So, no slacking around, and just got to get into it. And then we have it all rubbed down. No problems. This time everything worked out great. So we're ready now, we'll just use, we say Prepsol, which is just a grease remover. Put over that, put it on a box and get it painted. First coat, not too heavy. Make sure you do your edges. Try and just get a nice even coat, not too heavy. And then we let that dry. Not completely dry, but it gets a little bit sticky, which gives us the chance to give a heavier second and third coat because it's sticking better. Now, what I also want you to know is from here forward, we don't see anything. So we don't have to be particularly worried. Don't waste your paint. As long as it's covered, that's all you need to worry about. Let's give it another coat. We can give it a little bit heavier now. Okay, so we don't need to let this dry like we did the last time. A couple of minutes and we'll be able to put the next coat on. Okay, it's only just been a couple of minutes, but it's ready for its last coat. It's all covered. I can't see any color through at all. So one more coat of black. And there we've had it. Three coats of black, one light coat, two good coats. It's completely covered. Now I'm going to let that dry maybe for 10 minutes and go out in the sun then and just make sure there's been no reaction or nothing's head up. And there we have it. No reaction. Everything looks great. Wouldn't be able to tell we repaired it. And if you're thinking about doing it for yourself, that you'll give you a little bit more confidence. Thanks a lot. Always remember, drive like you know each other. I'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye. Thank you!